Welcome to Simple Truth, a weekly broadcast devoted to the encouragement, exhortation, and equipping of the body of Christ. And now, here's Bill McCaskill and Mike Adams. Hi friends and welcome to Simple Truth. I'm Mike Adams along with Bill McCaskill and Sam King. We're here at Brad Huddleston Ministries in this marvelous studio in uh, what God has provided us and we're thankful for Brad and uh, everything he is to the body of Christ and uh, we're blessed to gather here and talk about the things of God. And uh, Bill, we, we just got off with Mark Wingfield, had a great chat with him. Um, and some of you may be catching this live, some of you will be hearing this uh, rebroadcast on WBTX uh, out of uh, the Harrisonburg area, Timberville, and some of you will be hearing us on WNLR 1150 AM. We appreciate you and we thank you for tuning in and we pray that in some small way that we uh, are an encouragement to you, that we can in encourage you and exhort you in your faith uh, to contend for the faith, Paul mm. said, and uh, we want you to be strong and uh, you know, the Bible says that uh, how are you going to run with chariots if you can't contend with the footmen? And we want you to run with chariots. Mm. And the whole genesis of this program is to help you, encourage you to be a doer of God's Word. Because how does it profit us if we sit in church week after week mm. and we take in the Word but we never act upon it? Um, I was uh, blessed to be at Common Ground in Fishersville, Virginia this past weekend uh, with my son James. And uh, we heard a, a great exhortation from Jamie Higginbotham. And uh, there was a testimony given by another young man, although I came at the tail end of that. But um, we've recorded uh, several times at Common Ground and did our evangelism training there. And we have on the line now live Kevin Harris, who uh, is the founder of Common Ground. It's a ministry in Fishersville, but I'll let him tell us more about that. But uh, it's just a great resource, Bill, isn't it, right where we are? Oh, it's an absolute blessing. It's been a blessing in my life. and. Kevin, we're glad to have you on and uh, share with us uh, whatever's on your heart tonight. Well, thank you guys for having me. Um, you know, God has just been so amazing and so good. And uh, years and years ago, you know, God God typically puts stuff in your in your heart and your spirit, and um, then you, later on in life, it, it sort of comes to pass in His timing when I guess uh, He's prepared you and, 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 and gets you positioned and ready for what He what He's calling you to. But um, you know, the Lord opened the door for us uh, to uh, open up Common Ground, and it's something that, like I said, uh, that's been burning my heart for a long time. And, and Common Ground, it's just a place for the body of Christ to be able to come together and a place that uh, sort of stand alone that, um, uh, that, that, that we can hold different functions and do outreach and do discipleship and evangelism and, and uh, just, you know, pretty much... Just, the cool thing, I think, is that, you know, there's no box, you know, that, that everybody you know, wants to put it in a certain box and label mm -hmm. it something. But <laughs> I think that's the beauty of it is, uh, you know, uh, as far as we can tell anyway, there's not a box to really uh, put Common Ground in. It's uh, um, just a place, you know, FCA's met there. The Young Life uses it on Monday nights for Young Lives, which is an outreach to single moms, um, helping uh, young girls who have young little babies and uh, just teaching them and training them how to be moms and uh and you know, turn around and when uh, there's a there's a, a new ministry that started last uh, summer. We had some students from Liberty University that um, they called me and got in touch with my oldest daughter and said they were wanting to start a Bible study. And um, they were trying to find a place for uh, young people, college age students, to be able to meet. And they didn't know where to go. They didn't want to go to one specific church because then they they felt like it would limit. Um, other students were wanting to come, and they, they asked us, hey, can we use Common Ground? We've heard about Common Ground. We were like, man, that's the vision, mm. you know? And uh, and so they started meeting last uh, last May with 16 uh, students, and before they got done, I think it was 78 the last night. Mm. Wow. And, uh, yeah, now they've got a second location. They're meeting up at uh, Harrisonburg, and um, they're looking and praying for next year to, to branch out to maybe the Charlottesville area, and they, mm. they've got a... Hallelujah. Um, yeah, and it's really cool. Their their whole vision, uh, they really are starting, uh, you know, the Lord sort of tightening their vision and uh, giving them clearer direction since it's their second year. And uh, I think this year they started with 45 or 55 the first night. And uh, But they what they want to do is help the transition, um, like rising seniors, into a support group so that the, they, they mm. don't fall away from Amen. the body of Christ. That's rising and, seniors in high school, correct, Kevin? <laughs> Yes, sir. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seniors in high school, because 80% of all kids that are raised up in church when they turn 18, 19, when they, they get out of uh, school and it's time or out of youth ministry and get out, you know, and they get to make their own decision, 
80 percent of them statistically across our country are falling away they're no longer um, uh, being attached to the church and uh so this is just a really cool, exciting thing that uh, the Lord is, is birthed, and uh, it's student-led, which is even more amazing. Um, you have ministry majors and youth majors and, and business majors, and it's, you know, the first time I walked in this place, I mean, there was hippies and, and uh, preppies and cowboys and, you know, uh, just, you know, every flavor of the rainbow, you know, it was just, uh, I was like, whoa, man, this is revival, total diversity and sense of community and, and uh yeah, really, really neat to see. And I mean, there's there's local pastors that are ministered there, and new pastors, and different ones use their talents. It's Wednesday nights at eight o'clock, and uh, mm. and then they also do outreach. They get together. They went bowling last week. They've been to King's Dominion. Um, they had a car wash Saturday. They've they've done uh, sort of. They teamed up with Chick Fil A this past Friday night, and uh, Chick Fil A had a uh, father son. Uh, camp out at Chick Fil A because there's mm. just there's some really cool Christian brothers that uh, work at Chick Fil A and yes. uh, um, dude uh, Chris from there has uh, teamed up with some of the guys from Grounded Impact and they're doing a I don't know man it's just it's cool right. I and mean, that's just one of many things going on that's so. awesome Kevin and that's Chick Fil A right in Waynesboro Virginia and uh, you know I want to just kind of encourage Kevin that friends. Kevin is a champion of youth. I've, I've mm. spent some time up there, and I hear the same things from Kevin, but I don't just hear them from Kevin. Kevin doesn't just talk about unity. Mm. Kevin's doing something for unity, mm. and as uh, he's a doer of God's Word, and I want to encourage somebody, maybe someone's in Maryland or someone's watching this and saying, well, how could I put something together like Common Ground? Well, reach out. Kevin would love to tell you about it. Mm. So not that uh, you would just come to Common Ground. Go start a Common Ground in Maryland. Amen. Go start a Common Ground in Charlottesville. Amen. Okay, go get something going. Because uh, what's happening there, I can personally testify, is it's been a great great opportunity to gather with uh, other brothers and sisters in the Lord and uh, kind of just really piggyback backs on our last program we were talking about unity gathering together in the name of Jesus and uh, leaving all our junk at the door and and rallying around the cross and serving God and uh, I just want to mention uh, Kevin mentioned FCA Young Life Grounded Impact. I know Simple Truth Radio has recorded there. Brad Huddleston's men, men preached stepping there. Up. Men <laughs> Stepping Up. Randy Peltola, Charles Walker. Yes, absolutely. So, Kevin, we are uh, all very thankful for what you do, and we know that you don't make any big deal about yourself, which makes it all the more reason to make a big deal about you, because you don't make a big deal about yourself. And we love you and appreciate you, Bill. Well, it's very encouraging to me to hear all the things that are going on, because so many times we get kind of trapped in our little swirl or our little eddy of life and we don't realize that God is working and he's doing things out there yes. and uh, if we know about them we can get excited we can pray for them we can be encouraged and we can be built up and Kevin we're just uh, so thankful that you're in this area and that you have this vision and as we were talking on the last broadcast there is nothing more plain in the Bible than that the body of Christ is one that is absolutely an essential. It cannot be denied. There is only one King and the Lord Jesus Amen. Christ, and there is only one body. And Paul Amen. was very emphatic about it. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God Amen. and Father of us all. So the, when people uh, recognize the unity that Jesus has already created and enter into that unity, then we can make progress. But when yes, we uh, and basically through pride, when we through pride uh, divide the body of Christ and, and uh, break it up and it, it weakens the body, it weakens us, it's actually sin and it needs to be repented of. And I, I just pray that this message is reaching people and that you're thinking tonight or this, uh, this morning if you're listening on the radio that you're thinking about uh, am I entering into the unity that Jesus has created or am I divisive? Am I doing something to harm the body of Christ? And why would we want to do anything that would harm the body of Christ? That's good. In, you know, in John chapter 17, you know, Jesus mm. just gives us the formula for Amen. evangelism. 
And yeah. it's it's so crazy because we're, you know, for decades of, you know, I've been serving the Lord, been a youth leader, youth pastor, then, uh, you know, been fortunate to, to do a lot of different outreaches and a lot of different things. And, you know, every time I've been on a board or a team of people, they're all like, well, how can we do this? How can we do this? How can we reach the law? Mm. And he said it plainly. He mm-hmm. said, come together in unity Amen. And, uh, and love one another, and the world will know that you're my disciples, and they'll mm. believe the message. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And, and, and uh, if ever before, you know, and, and ever at a time in history, I mean, the, the body of Christ, I mean, everybody, I mean, we we need to come together, and I believe God's calling His true believers, His remnant, Amen. together yes. um, in these last days because He wants to show the world. I mean, the religious community and, and those who are—I don't want, mean to be critical, but those who who want to argue and want to divide and, mm. and, and, and be divisive. The religious community, the religion is the enemy of Jesus. Amen. And, uh, religion is the enemy of Christ. Amen. I mean, you know, and Christianity. So. You know, we're obviously going to have opposition, not from probably the world, but you know, but from mm. <laughs> from the religious right. community. But that's, that's okay because that's that's already uh, been told to us. But if we could just come together, and uh, I tell people all the time, I, you know, there's 66 different books of the Bible, and you know, if you want to read the other nine, that's great. I, you know, I can't hardly. I'm trying to live the first 66. <laughs> but if you want to read, you if you need nine more, then grab them. And, you know. Uh, you know, King James was a version, of, you know, of the Bible, and if you want to read that, hey, praise God, I don't care, but, you know, I don't read it all the time, I still like it, I love it, I don't, I'm not, but, you know, we, we just sometimes, we major on the minors, and Amen. we minor on the majors, and right. people mm. are dying and going to hell, Amen. teenagers don't have dads in their homes, they don't have anybody they can, they can call a dad. You know, that, I mean, the list goes on and on. Little girls are being abused and, mm. and, and, and mistreated and, and have alcoholics and drug addicts with the dads that are, all, are in the homes. The mm. moms, single moms are raising kids. And, and, and we're arguing over what version of the Bible some right. kid's trying to read. They can't even, they can't even read it, Old English. They can't even understand. They don't even know what a prophecy is. And we're arguing over, mm. you know, who's the most spiritual and who has the, the greatest insight. I'm like, the, the Lord clearly t- told us, you know. You can have all all mystery and have all knowledge mm. and all this stuff, but if Amen. you don't have love, you're nothing. That's right. right. And, uh, that probably you know, resonates and, with a lot of people, Kevin, that are listening to this right now. And it, the Bible tells, I think it's in Timothy, Bill, it tells us to avoid divisive people mm, anyways, mm, because, amen. you know, whether are talking about avoid endless genealogies, yes, Paul says. Arguments. And, and, yeah, the things yeah. that people want to bring in to divide the body. And again, major on the majors, not the minors. Yeah, and we need yeah. to focus on that. And uh, I hear your heart, brother, uh, loud and clear. And I pray that other would catch others would catch the fire and the flame for unity, especially. Mm. And listen, we can we can do something about unity right where we are, right in the valley here. Mm. There's a great opportunity. And I'm, I'm really praying and hoping, uh, Kevin, Bill, Sam, Brad, that there will be a large gathering of brothers and sisters that will come together uh, to to hold a service, a, a, a unity service, mm. and we would start coming together and praising God together and let some people speak and share and give testimony and invite the world so they can see that, you know what? We do. We love each other. Mm. And I'm not ashamed right. to say that. I'm not ashamed to call you friend and say you mm. are my brother. And Jesus is not ashamed to call us friend either. Hey Amen. We yeah. have about uh, 50 seconds, 50 seconds left. left. Let, let me just pray for us. And uh, Heavenly Father, we do appeal to you, God, to yes. pour out your spirit upon oh, all yes, flesh. Jesus. We pray especially that you'd pour out your spirit here in the Shenandoah Thank Valley, you. Lord that you would fill this valley with your spirit from one end to the other and that people would know that they know that they have been soundly converted and that they have turned to Jesus Christ as their Savior and Lord. And we ask, God, that humility would fall on the people of God and that we would stop being argumentative. And we pray it in Jesus' mighty and powerful name. Amen and amen. Kevin, thanks for being with us. I hope we can do it again. All right, thank you guys for having me. It was a, it was a blessing, and uh, thank you guys for all you guys do. So, God bless y'all. Thank you for listening to Simple Truth. We hope and pray that these messages have blessed you. We invite you to check us out online at simpletruthradio.net. Once again, thanks for listening to Simple Truth. I'm Sam King, along with Mike Adams and Bill McCaskill. May you have a blessed week.